but just listen, all right? Hey everyone, welcome back. In this one, we're going to be exploring what is outside the gas station at the start of Resident Evil 2 Remake and taking a look at some of the other things that can be found during this scene. Now normally, as a lot of you out there will know, I make my videos covering whole games, but I just don't have time to be doing this at the moment. So the plan is, I'm going to try to break things down into smaller videos looking at more specific parts of the games, rather than trying to squeeze everything into one video, in the hope that I can keep a continuous flow of videos coming, rather than maybe making one or two a month. That's the idea anyway, we'll, we'll see how this pans out. So anyway, let's get cracking with this one, and first of all, I'm going to show you some parts of the opening animation. So if we take the camera up and above its usual position, we can see further out into the distance, and I was surprised how small of an area this actually is, as from the normal camera position, it looks like quite a vast open place. But as you can see, we come to the edge of the map rather quickly. I need some sleep. Now the other surprise I wanted to show in this animation is just before the truck hits the zombie woman, if we zoom out, take a look at this, we can find the driver is floating in front of the truck. So, what exactly does the woman zombie look like? Because we never really get a close up of her. To me, she doesn't look too bad, hardly a bit of rotting flesh on her. And to say she's been hit by a truck too, she looks in pretty good shape. Alright, so we are at the Miz Oil gas station, it's very spooky here. Or petrol station, if you live in the UK, and many other places. Anyway, let's not get carried away with what it's called. There are a few Easter eggs hidden away here. Some of them you may have seen before if you've been watching various Easter egg channels. One of them being this one that's hidden on the door to the gas station itself. And it's a telephone number which is actually the release date of the original Resident Evil 2 in Japan. Very cool stuff. There is, however, one easter egg that I haven't yet seen anyone show. It's on the license plates to the vehicles used by Leon and Claire. Now, I'm not talking about the plates themselves saying Made in Heaven and Matilda, but the developers have actually hidden the date of the remake's release on both of the plates. Check it out. If I turn the brightness up, you can see Jan 25 which of course is the remake's release date 25th of January 2019 so not only do we have the original game's release date hidden in this scene but the remake date is hidden in the very same scene of the game how cool is that? Right, we came here to explore what is outside the normal playable area of the map and that is exactly what I'm going to show you now although to be honest I'm not going to take too long to do it I was kind of hoping to find a random dead body or something else massively exciting, maybe like a, a slippy logo sign, but it wasn't to be, and to be honest, other than a few objects like trees and bushes, there really isn't a whole lot out here. Although whilst I was looking around, the anticipation of finding something was rather cool and it was also very creepy knowing that I shouldn't really be out here. It kind of felt like something was going to jump out at me. I'm guessing if you are like me, most of you will have tried to leave the area by walking down the road only to be automatically turned back. So just what is out there? Well again, not too surprisingly I'm afraid there isn't much, but I was quite shocked to see how big the map is, especially being most of it is unused. Even in the cutscenes when the characters are riding to and from the station. It is huge out here, way bigger than I thought it ever would be. In fact, as I get to the end of the map, I'll spin the camera around and way over in the distance you'll be able to see the station lights. Thank you. 
Alright, so there's nothing to find outside the map, but what about underneath it? Well, when we take a look under here, we can find that the whole time we are in this area, Leon's vehicle or Claire's bike, depending on which playthrough you're doing at the time, is always hiding under the map, along with the cage that the zombie pushes into our way, and even our first gun and bullets. I was curious to find out what is beyond the door to the storage room before we enter, so I took the camera inside and by doing this and then walking forward to the door, we can see when the zombie and the cop appear, which is of course just as the animation begins. Also, where is Leon whilst all this is going on? Well, as you can see, he's outside waiting patiently for his cue to run in and save us. Well, don't shoot! Get down! Alright folks, that is it for this video. If you have any suggestions of things that you would like explored in Resident Evil 2 Remake, maybe something that you were curious to know about, let me know in either the comments or over on my Twitter and I'll try to include them in a future video. In the next one we're going to be taking a look around the outside of Raccoon City Police Department, so it will be awesome if you could join me for that. But until next time, as always, take care guys.